Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to fetch the products and display it in our admin dashboard in our PHP e-commerce project. So let's get started with it. So previously we had made the add products. So we have added one product and now we are going to create the product.php page and fetch the products over here. So we'll go to our folder. So inside your admin, create a new file with products.php and over here you can just go to your category.php and copy the code paste it over here okay so here we have the header and the middleware and then we just change the card header to products and over here you'll have the id name image status and action so here we have used the get all function instead of writing the query over here we have used this get all function so here we have written the query so I'll just change the table name, say products, change the variable, say products. So here we are checking if MySQL numbers of products is greater than zero, then we are writing a for each loop and looping the products. And over here you have the table row and we have displayed the ID, name, and then the image. So the path is going to be the same inside the uploads folder. We have uploaded our products. And this is the status column. So if it is zero, then it is visible or if it is one, then it will display as hidden. Okay. And this is the edit button. So for now, I'll just change this edit product.php. So we will create this file in the next video and see how you can edit and update the data. And this is the delete one, right? So I'll change this to delete product button. Okay. And here you have to give the product ID. So if there is no records in this dollar products, then we are going to display this no records found. Okay. So everything looks good. We'll just go and test it. Go to your browser, refresh, go to all products and you have it over here. So we will just put this in the next column. So it looks a little better copy and paste edit delete okay here i just say control x td paste refresh okay now it looks good you can just make this small by adding btn sm class in that btn sm paste refresh okay now it looks better so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to fetch the products and display it in our admin dashboard so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you